Hey folks, today I'm visiting Kagoshima Jingu's rice field, the day before the rice planting ceremony, just to get an understanding of the environment and history. This is known as the God's Rice Field and is part of Kagoshima Jingu Shrine's extension and property. His cultural property is the Miyauchi Rice Paddy God of the Shrine. The statue is about 200 years old and unique to southern Kyushu. The statue is made to look as if it's about to perform a dance. The water flows through here into all rice paddies throughout Kirishima City. I hope you enjoy this rice planting ceremony, or you can jump ahead to the painting inspired by this tour. One of the purpose of this rice planting ceremony is to produce rice offerings to the gods, praying for a bountiful harvest for the season. It is believed the rice field gods descend from the mountains to the villages when the spring farming begins and return to the mountains once the autumn harvest is complete. The rice field dances perform and seedlings are planted in the rice fields.
Thanks to the wonderful people at Kagoshima Jingu Shrine for letting me participate in this unique experience. I have a better understanding of the culture now. I think I found something that inspired the pain from this experience. After some consideration, I decided to paint the rice field god just overlooking uh, the event here. I really like the side profile and I really enjoy painting portraits, so I'm going to do that. I'll start first by painting the mask, just trying to match the color as best as I can. The mask has a unique expression and beard. I kind of get a joy just looking at it. Next I'll move on to the skin tone. Uh, this person was really kind, just greeting everyone and letting me film. So thanks for that. For the outfit, I want to use some uh, light blue to kind of match the blue sky of that day. And there were a lot of blue skies during that day, but it didn't show up on the video. Paint the first layer of the straw hat and probably come back and work on it later after it dries. It's a good time to work on the details of the mask and face before I move on to something else. One of my favorite combination of colors is red or pink with light blue. It's probably a reason why they chose that color for the outfit. Here I'm using some drawing gum to try to protect the mask, the hat, the face, and the outfit so I can go a little crazy with colors in the surrounding area. Once the drawing gum is dried, it's time to do as I please and just, this is the, my, the best part, my favorite part, just use color and go all around. Any color I want. I usually try to do this without thinking or trying to care what's right or wrong because as soon as I stop uh, that's when the fun stop and uh, I don't know, just start thinking it over again and seeing all the flaws but I do have a color theme uh, I do try to use green and yellow that's inspired by the seed plantings uh, if you look back and see the video you see that there are plantings things and uh, a lot of green colors there And of course, add a little salt to the painting for flavor. Then just let it dry and forget about it. Once everything's dried, it's time to move the drawing gum and see what we have. You can actually see what kind of effects you get from the salt here. To prepare for the next part, I'm going to finish painting the hat. After some touch up on the straw hat, it's time to add in the dark areas. This is the part where it actually makes things pop out. Almost near the end here, I'm going to work on the white paper streamers. I think they're called Shide and they're used for purification during ceremonies, I believe. 
The best part is they're white, so I don't have to use much color instead of trying to fill in the shadows. Some final details, just splatter some colors, fill in some details, and that should be it. And here's the finished product. I hope you guys like this painting that I was inspired to paint from this experience. Thank you everyone at Kagoshima Jingu. And thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you again. Take care. Bye bye.